Welcome back to Link Saves the Girl 3. We're now in level 5, the Water Dungeon. And remember how I said the tune would be familiar? It's actually the overworld of the last game. Kind of nice to hear it again. I mean, the song was soothing. Not so memorable in my case, though. But it isn't a bad song, nonetheless. So let's just head through the Water Dungeon, like all level 5s have been. And we're introduced to our blue dart nut friends. So it's kind of good we got ourselves our magic sword right away. And we got a secret located on this wall. I couldn't believe I timed that perfectly. I'll bomb both of them. Just in case I get more bombs. Don't kill me, I'll give you this. I'm not going to kill you for magic. I'm not no evil mage or anything. And... Yeah, Link. Hit him and then run. Our Gibdo friends are in here. Another good reason to have this sword. See what I mean? Beam is one level weaker. That's white sword strength. Alright, and this is another nice feature I like about this dungeon. It's like we have some mini castles in here. And things hide behind the waterfall, so you don't know what you're getting. In this case, it was the map. Alright, we got more dark nuts. Level 5 and Dark Nuts. I don't even remember where, when Blue Dark Nuts appeared in the first. But there were Blue Dark Nuts all over the place in the second, in the seventh dungeon of the last game. And now uh, the seventh dungeon. Beautiful music. <laughs> anyway, uh, which one of y'all is pushable? You are. None on the island mattered. That one is... It's... Hey, I should have gone through the key way first. Don't kill me, I'll give you this. Seems like we'll be getting ourselves another set of heart pieces. I'm going to head through that locked door first, because I got the suspicion I should have hit that direction first. I don't want to roam around with a key knowing where it should be where it should belong. And it's another key way. Okay. There's no key. Huh. Suspicious, I am. Sure, we'll find a key somewhere for that. I hope. Because I don't want to have to go buy a key. Then again, I don't think I've seen a shop that sells keys. Okay, which one is it? That one? I'm a waif fairy, I don't want you. Just that one, okay. Alright. Sorry, dead end. Yeah, but you got five rupees on you. So I'm glad he's taking it for you for giving me a dead end. You want cheese? Here you go. Empty room. Huh. Hole over there, hole over there. Holes all around. 
Well, this one looks like a dead end, so... I wonder what's behind there. Well, let's look at my map. Oh, look at my stuff. Looks like a free piece of cheese. That's cool. Got some free cheese again. Oh, another one of these hidden... hidden rooms. It seems like these must be the treasure rooms. Alright, what do we got in here? Well, how am I supposed to know he was there? And how do I know there was another Zora? There we go. Alright, so what do we have here? That was the boss key. And another bombable way here. That's kind of creative with the stuff hiding behind a waterfall. Level 6. Smash teeth with hammer. Oh, so it looks like we might be getting a hammer in here. Because we certainly don't have it right now. And it can't just magically appear with my stuff. I must be missing something. Huh. Eh. Oh, nothing in here. Well, maybe I should just go the other way where we started. Because I get the feeling I'm missing something. I got the feeling I'm missing something. Maybe there's a key all the way there. I meant no. I don't have a key for that room. Or do I even need a key? Is there a way around? No, here we are at the entrance. Stupid dark nuts. Alright, which one of you is pushable? Not you, not you. Not you. Not you, not you. Not you. Uh, so many blocks, it's hard to know which one is correct. Oh, hey. Weird room. Moves or... Oh, there's the compass. And I know you're pushable all the way across. Whooshty block. Any more ropes? There. Oh yeah. Okay. I think the hammer could be in here. Not quite sure. Okay, we just push this arrow here. The hammer has to be in here. Yes, it is. The hammer would be my go-to weapon if I never found all those heart pieces. Because the hammer, like I said, is the same strength as the level 3 sword. But since we had the level 3 sword, no longer need it. No longer need to worry about it. It's now just the way to get through if we need it. And it's what's needed to get into level 6 now. And apparently these guys come back. Seems like there could be nothing in that room. Oh, wait. Do we even need a key for that? No, we don't. It's just a tricker. Well, unless I came from the other way. Yeah, some of these things are known for that. Oops. Tried to avoid grabbing clocks because they're not here. Yeah, here's the key. Apparently it's just a shortcut. <laughs> oh well. Now we know.
I just came from the other way, it seems. Awkward, but I'll take it nonetheless. As long as I'm getting through the dungeon, it doesn't even matter. Okay, let's kill some more Gibdos. I'm guessing the blast from the fire boomerang, like if it doesn't make contact, like if it goes through them, like that, that's wooden sword strength. So direct hits are level 2 sword strength. After effects of going through are, wooden, are level 1 sword strength. Alright, well. Let's just... Keep it going. You're pushable, if I remember. A hammer is needed to uh, move on anyway. Alright, and you a one two punch. <laughs> this was where we. Got rid of that. Although now, with the hammer, it's easy to take you guys out. Because I can just break your shields. Hey. Haha. You're bombable. You're not. You aren't. You are, though. Here's where we would have needed our hammer. There you go. Oh, it's hidden back there. Oh, it's hidden back there. 200 rupees. The only logical thing I can think of. Otherwise, why else would I hear money spill like water? One, two. Oh. Couldn't do a one two punch. Yoink. And yoink. Two. Fairy, I'll gladly take you. Push you onto there. And we have more dark nuts. And uh, I hope the last time we'll ever see push blocks cause in this dungeon, because really I'm getting tired with like 12 blocks and don't know which one's the right one. There we go. And we got stairs. Stairs! <laughs> I don't know why I always keep making a reference to that. Every time I hear stairs. And right, now we're on this side. Which one's pushable? You are. Yeah, my way, Zoras. I don't give those. Maybe they had to do the same amount of damage as a blue dark nut. Dang, gummit. That was a mistake. I accidentally used up my potion. That was not intentional. I accidentally used it. Oh well. Oh well. I'm, I'm so strong. I don't need potion. Well, strong enough to live through these parts. I'm pretty sure we get more money. I wonder what's hidden back there. I 
And then we get out of here. Another heart piece. And we our boss is Dig Dogger again. Okay. There's my heart container. There's the Triforce. Level 5 is done. Sweet. Alright, to level 6 we go. As we've heard, it's way south. Way down south. <laughs> I can one shot on Red Gorilla. Good, because they're annoying. I'm not going to waste my money on a brewery I didn't... On a potion I didn't mean to use. Yeah, I'll be stingy. Well, it's not like I need money to buy the golden ring. No, no, no. The golden ring is found conventionally now. You don't have to buy it. Like in the second game. That was another weak thing at the second game. I found... I mean, I don't mind buying the thing, but... For an extraneous price. Ugh. Well, thank you. It's better to find things. Oh, something's here. I think this is another... Potion shop. Yeah, okay. Hidden potion shop. Good to know. But there's level six. Smash the teeth. <laughs> and here's level six. And we will go through level six next time. Link saves the girl three to be continued.